Okay, I've been doing my journal all day today, so we're leaving it quite late to leave and there's big grey heavy dark clouds ahead. So, and Indy is with me. Hello! <laughs> <laughs> so we are going to cruise as far as we can before it actually gets very, very wet. What do you think, India? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go, India. Are we up for it, India? Yeah. Yeah, look. Look at the clouds. It's been a lovely mooring spot here. It's really, really quiet. So we're on our way now. We're trying to get to Stratford. We won't get to Stratford today, but that's where the journey is taking us now. Stratford is only about nine and a half miles away, which really should only take us four-ish hours. But we think breaking this journey up across a few days is better considering the weather and also because we have some new and very important family members to meet. There's a mooring at the next lock if the rain gets too bad. So we can moor there and that's literally just up here. This is the final leg now of our summer River Avon adventures and it's been truly beautiful. I've spotted many kingfishers, watched the fish through the clear water and loved stopping at the stunning towns along the way. Mooring, both wild and of the visitor nature, has been superb and it's been worth every penny of the £100 that our month's licence cost us. great having Indy here because she just gets all the work done. I can just stand on the bow. Oh, <laughs> and day one of trying to get to Stratford ends with a bang. Just getting ready to leave. It's a great little mooring spot for a night but we really want to get towards Stratford. It's important for when autumn begins and our term starts again that you know we're doing back to our normal routine so we want to be on the canal it's raining <laughs> it's raining again but it doesn't matter okay let's get cruising it's time to end our summer sad but it's narrowboat life right so we're off to Luddington that's the place today Yep, it's definitely a brolly and boating day today. Yeah, it's really, the wind is pushing us back. how heavy the sky or grey the day, the River Avon still looks gorgeous in all its green refinery. This bridge is at a point where the River Avon forms two small islands. Since the 13th century there has been a bridge here which until 1780 was only wide enough for horse and foot traffic to cross. These 
so, so Bobby is a Clyde doll. You can tell they've got the white face <laughs> and the Rome colour. And um, Ben is a Shire horse, so he's slightly taller and he's got a longer neck. And um, they would have pulled the barges, so you would have originally seen them on the canals. That's one of the many jobs they would have done. They're really, really rare now. So the Clydesdale is more endangered. So there's probably about 1,500 left in the UK. And there's only oh, about it scratch your life. sort of it's four or five hundred brood there. mares left of them. There's more in oh, North America, you. but there's what not many at all here. The and they they originate from the Clyde in Scotland. Oh. Shire horse descends from the great horse that was brought over by the Romans. And they um they're, so they're very, very old horses. Like the Tiverton Canal used shire horses to pull their barges in the summer. It's so exciting to have Bobby and Ben in the family now, knowing that their ancestors may have pulled the old barges along the canals. And well done to my sister-in-law, Michelle, and husband, Nick, for doing what they can to protect the breeds. Oh, look. Can you give the horse a kiss, Seth? <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the new family members, Seth? What do you think of them? <laughs> they're good. You're a bit scared of horses, aren't you? We're making our way to Stratford and it shouldn't take us that long. This big boat up ahead is called the Countess of Evesham and it's a family run 70 foot restaurant cruiser which turns around here at Luddington and heads back to Stratford upon Avon where its tour begins. And so we're slowing right down so we can let it overtake us. called Stanhills Bridge and it used to carry the old Great Western Railway Stratford to Cheltenham line but today it's part of a beautiful footpath called the Greenway. Isn't it gorgeous? And just ahead where you see those people walking that's the Shakespeare way that you can walk so I might have a go at doing some of that while I'm here. Right, we're just approaching the next lock, but the Countess of Evesham is in there, so we'll just drift. We're talking strategy now, which is uh, always exciting. We have got a boat ahead of us, and then ahead of that is the Countess of West... No, the Countess Evesham. of Evesham, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> oh, it's a good job she's here. And then the Countess of Evesham's gonna go through this lock, then followed by hopefully the next two boats which is us included but we've just seen on the map that there's a mooring spot that you can moor at just after this lock so we think if there isn't a boat on it that we will try and moor there all these conversations are happening because we're drifting drifting is a good time to contemplate life and strategy isn't it it's a very good time Right, Seth, we've had a great summer. We've seen India, we've seen Tristan, we've spent so much time with family, the boat's been busy. Now it's back to just me and you. It's just me and you, Seth. So today 
we are going to try and get some shopping. We're going to go for a walk. And we're going to get back to our normal routine. There you go. Yeah, so we're back to our normal routine. The summer is basically slipping away. Term has started again. And that means that we're all back to our working routines. Oh. It feels sad, but also I love the autumn. I love narrow boating in the autumn. So I'm sure, you know, it's going to be fine. But today I feel a little bit lost because, you know, the boat's been busy. The boat's been really busy this summer and we've done some amazing things. We're going to go then. Okay. Good. So this posing with Shakespeare. Zephyr's favourite play is Bonio and Julie Pet. <laughs> Our favourite place to explore this week has been the Greenway and several times we have travelled along it at different parts and sections. teasel because I've just found loads of things in the teasels. egg shape. Oh, let's go like that to me. Oh, I don't know what I'm doing here. Like that shape. No, I'm so sorry. I just tr I was treading on an ant's nest. I feel really guilty. They were so gentle with me. Amazing creatures, ants. They have my total respect. Everyone's got a job to do, everyone does their job. They work together as a team, they're efficient. Not very good. Literally, two minute teasel. Teasels lean, seed heavy, beetle laden, deep ants team, tickling skin, plonked within, nest and queen, suddenly seen. Summer sighs, 
expiring light, evanescing into night, that strengthening and lengthening in depth and might, sawfly wings, gold coverings, rest unseen, teasels lean. Thank you.